Hello, welcome back to the Ibble South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm your old pal, Sean. And today, I'm with my new pal, Celia. Hey. How are you doing? Celia here is representing... The Responsible Business Initiative for Justice. Fantastic. RBIJ. And you just had a South by Southwest panel discussion yesterday. Yep. Or, you know, depending on when you're watching this, yeah. Yeah, it would be yesterday because we can't time travel. Duh. Right. Not yet. Not and yet. Uh, you talked about the justice of impacted workforce. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is an important subject. So I don't want to, like, cap you here, but give me, like, a Spark Notes version. How did that talk go? What did you cover? Where are you coming from? Lay into it. Yeah, so the, the title of the, the panel was 70 million excluded, and 70 million is the number of Americans who have a criminal record in this country. Um, and, and that number, it, it's, it's the largest percentage of a population of any society ever. You know, the U.S. is conducting essentially a social experiment on how many people that you can saddle with a criminal record. In fact, it's, it's such a big number. If it were a nation of people, it would be the 18th largest country in the world. It would be more people than in the U.K., more people than France, more people than Canada. And so I think that this is something that people are increasingly recognizing, you know, a problem. Like, we've essentially coined a phrase, mass incarceration in this country. And the panel was really about, um, like, what are people doing about that? Like, yeah. what are the solutions to that? Yeah. How do we stop uh, being uh, disturbed by it and start, you know, rolling up our sleeves to yeah. fix it? Yeah. And there were three panelists. Uh, one of, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest and say they're, they're friends. You know, there are people that I've worked with for a long time in this movement. Kind of my heroes, actually. Um, so we had uh, a, a woman called Sheena Mead, um, and she runs an organization called Clean Slate Initiative which is about clean slate legislation, yeah. uh, which is using technology to seal criminal records when people are entitled to that. And so she was really talking about policy, legislation, laws that we can uh, be pulling down or enacting in order to kind of sure. change the landscape for people that have experienced a criminal record. And we had Nan Gibson from J.P. Morgan Chase, biggest oh, bank wow. in America, yeah. talking about how the bank has intentionally hired people with visible criminal records, That's which awesome. is not very easy for a bank to do yeah. because banks are restricted by a federal right. law in doing so. But they're getting to the point where they have 10% of their workforce uh, with a visible criminal record. That's and that's not only, you know, giving people a second chance, totally. but it's kind of changing the culture of yeah. the bank and, and around how we treat people it's who a have a brave criminal thing record. For them to do. It's a pretty brave thing to, them to do. And then we had Walmart, um, who sat on the panel with us, uh, their um, Center for Racial Equity um, director, Marvin Carr, uh, and he announced alongside RBIJ a brand new initiative, uh, which is called Unlock Potential. And it's focused on preventing justice system engagement. And this is actually something that hasn't really been done. We've spent a lot of time in the criminal justice reform movement, which I've been in for a long time, um, uh, trying to mitigate the harm yeah. of a criminal record um, and trying to uh, uh, undo the damage uh, of communities that have been really impacted by the justice system. And what Walmart is doing alongside RBIJ is uh, looking at young people and essentially saying, if we look at data uh, and research, can we get to a place where we are pretty clear on on, on which groups of young people sure. are most at risk, most vulnerable yeah. to ending in the justice system. And if we really intensely focus our resources on them, can we change their life outcomes? Yeah. And so what we're actually doing is we're working with employers, major employers, That's and we're saying, right. Don't just give these young people a job. It's, this is not just an apprenticeship. Right. This is actually replacing that that pushy parent that they maybe didn't have or that yeah. education that they maybe didn't get. Extra and like, boost. Yeah, that. can a business step in totally. and actually provide that boost and that, um, that uh, like put, it, put that rocket under these young people yeah. who want that and do, do their lives change? Are they able to access wealth as a yeah. result? This isn't just, you know, can they get by? Can they get paycheck to paycheck? Right. Can they... Can We're they, actually can, setting them up for yeah, success. Yeah, can we yeah. set them up for success? And I do think over the last two or three years, businesses have increasingly recognized the value of diversity right. within their workforces. And when we look at this group of young people, 16 to 24 year olds that are uh, neither in employment nor education, sometimes we call them disconnected youth, 91% are BIPOC. So if you're trying to find nuanced responses to like poverty and racism, yeah. and especially if you're trying to bring it into your workforce, yeah. that is a, that is a young pe that young people population yeah. um, is the one that we really should be focusing on. And so it's brand new. We're all we're doing at this point is bringing businesses into the kind of sure. design stage with us. 
uh, but we announced that yesterday. So it's all super all exciting. live as of, as of 2.30 uh, Central yesterday. That's Well, Thanks. that's the power of people coming together doing something like South by. Yeah, yeah. So for someone who's watching this and they're resonating in with as it should be, yeah. what's a great first step for people to get involved and support what you guys are doing? Super easy. Uh, just go to unlock-potential.org, and that's all the information you need about it. Unlock-potential.org. Unlock-potential.org. Yeah, and you'll find everything about if you're uh, a community, if you're working in the community, how to be involved from that side. If you're a business, how to be involved from that side. Um, how to learn a little bit more about it. Sign up for uh, for uh, uh, updates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, unlock-potential.org. Unlock-potential.org. I love it. I mean, I I think this is absolutely. I mean, you're right. This. This, this has been so heartbreaking to see that people aren't getting enough of the support they need. I love yeah. that you guys are coming along, committed to that. It gives me some hope yeah. and, and it's inspiring. So yeah. thanks for doing the work you're doing. Doing the Lord's work. I appreciate you. And thanks for coming here to, to talk with us today. Thanks, thanks so Celia. much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Go check her out. Give her some love and unlock-potential.org. Appreciate it.